I didn't mention goals. One thing I've heard in the military all the time is you have to set realistic and obtainable goals. Well, today, I'm gonna tell you that's a bunch of freaking bullshit. Time to wake up, wake up, time to wake up, and do some things. Welcome back to another carton of expired milk. And for today, I'm going to draw from the cup of doom. The cup of doom. One tick, one tick, one tick. Now the light reflecting off of this makes it really impossible. So I'm just going to mark this hole. I'm gonna go ahead and message him and see, and see if he gives me permission. Anybody who's military, I'll ask for permission to talk about them or things and stuff first. Otherwise, they will have to be anonymous or by the nickname in which you get by being associated with me. Now I'm just waiting for him to reply. Well, that actually wasn't very long. So I left this guy back in uh, 7,000 miles away or something like that and just says, Nope, I'm back in the States. I says, congrats. And he's just waiting for stuff and things to happen. I wanted to ask if it's okay if I talk about you in a video. And he said, sure, man, as long as it's not porn. Really, really. We all know you're the sexiest man in the world. I'm gonna have to change, I'm gonna have to change, man. I'm gonna have to change my plans. And I said, no, no, it's not. It's a YouTube thing. And he said, okay. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go for my run. I'll come back and we'll talk about Captain Marcus Hall. Well, I'm about a few miles in to this run, half mile left. And you know what? Let's talk. So goals, I didn't mention goals. One thing I've heard in the military all the time is you have to set Realistic and obtainable goals. Well, today, I'm gonna tell you that's a bunch of freaking bullshit. If you set obtainable goals, you're setting yourself up to fail already. Why? Well, because in your own mind, that's your finish line. That's why 90% of everyone who tries to lose weight, gain it back, they hit the finish line, and they gain it all back because that was their end game. They're done. They can go back to comfort. So what I'm gonna tell you now, you set an unrealistic or unobtainable goal. And then when you hit those small goal mile points, you have something further to go already. You don't have to go back to the drawing board and think about it. Hydration. When you're thirsty, you're already hydrated. Dehydrated. Freaking words. That's uh, my bag full of carnage. Uh, I'm gonna let you go. So don't hear me breathe like a little baby. Mark Soul, love you, bro. Stay Marcus after this. I got some stories about you. Shout out to you. Later. So, done with my run. I had breakfast. I had breakfast afterwards. You must always, always rejuvenate yourself afterwards. Very important. One thing I talked about while I was running was goals. Now, now, I did not mean don't set little goals. Set unobtainable goals and then you set micro points. Those micro points are your stepping stones to get to that super obtainable goal. And uh, there's uh, David Goggins. He's in the cup too, by the way. Never met him, but he's in the cup. He he's, goes on a thing, what's that dog mentality? You gotta have that dog mentality. And a dog mentality, when you go home and you feed your dog stuff, I mean, when they're done with dog food, they're done with dog food. But if you got all the meat product ever, you can feed him and he's going to eat forever and ever and ever. His end goal is to consume the world, it seems. So, 
David Goggins says, you know what? Don't just aim to be a doctor. Aim to be the best doctor. Don't just aim to lose 50 pounds. Lose that and then run a 5K. And then after that 5K, run a half marathon. After that half marathon, a full marathon. And you keep going. Because once you get to that end point, you're done. And when you're done is when you revert back because you accomplished your thing and now you can take a break and comfort and whistle and not sure what whistling has to do with it, but yeah. Anyway, inspiration of the week. Inspiration of the week, Captain Mark Saul. So he's a captain, so I'm not going to be talking disrespectful. Baby deer. First met this guy, Louisiana. We were going to a class school thing to learn stuff. We get to these barracks. They were like six man room barracks and there was enough for everybody to have their own almost, um, or a couple people to shack up. He wanted his own. So he stayed in this room. He stayed on the, he was the only person to stay on the side of the room that had no AC. He would talk about, I have no AC. It's hot as hell. I have to go to sleep butt naked and uh, just suffer through it. On the second to last day, I asked him, I said, hey, sir, hey, sir, you know your AC's working great when three blankets isn't enough. Um, Baby deer thing, where I was with this guy, there was always, there was rocks, there was mud, there was snow, but the snow melted and turned to ice, so there was ice everywhere all the time. So slip hazards constantly, but sir, Watching you try to walk on this ice was like watching a new baby born deer try to take its first steps every day, all day long. And it was amazing. No, he actually he actually injured his ankle, but he just kept doing his job, doing his job, doing his job, doing his job. And then Corolla DeVille stole your office. With everything in life, there's four outcomes. You win, you learn something. You win, you don't learn something. You lose, you learn something. You lose, you don't learn something. There's only one scenario where you actually completely lose. And that's if you lose and have learned nothing. Everything else, you have gained something. And if I can take away a couple things I learned from learned from Captain Marcus Hall. One, everybody is a person. Well, duh, everybody's a person. No, 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 what I'm getting at is everybody's a person. When you look at authority type figures, you look at a police officer and you go, oh, he's a police officer. That's what he is, he's a police officer, he's a dick. He gave me a ticket. Or you look at any military authority, job authority, and you think, wow, that's my boss. They they are the one. But everybody isn't that authority all the time. They're a real person. And that gives you a set that you can strive to be more than you are, whether it's an authority figure, rank structure, better, more. Because you're just a person also, and they're just a person. And if I know, and if they can be a person and acquire some greatness, there is no reason why you cannot do that either. Uh, There are others that have bestowed that thought process within me. Um, But sir, you kind of ignited that. Anyway, that's all the time I have for today. Go ahead and do a favor for me. That rusty spoon of doom that is jabbed into your soul. Go ahead and wiggle it around a bit. Give it some twisty twists so that you can feel all that agony that life is going to cause you. Go ahead and seduce that like button for me. Love y'all.